Hi, this is Andy Barclay with Remax Elite, and today we are visiting 1800 Bayshore Drive in Cocoa Beach, Florida. As you can already see, it is a pool home that is on a canal that leads out to the river right there. Uh, we've just walked in the front door, obviously, and as you look, you can see there's a two-sided fireplace. That is the kitchen in the background there. Uh, the door in the center leads to a laundry room and then we have the formal living and dining right here with a large bay window which is letting in a lot of light. Uh, you'll notice as we go through the home most of the lights are not going to be on yet it's very open and bright and it's a really nice house. And then looking to our left, we can see the hallway that leads to the bedrooms. So we are going to start with the bedrooms. As we walk down this hallway, you can see we have a bathroom here. If we turn to our right, we can see we have the master bedroom down that way. And as you'll see in a minute, it's actually more like a master suite. So here we have one of the three bedrooms in this home. Actually, technically I would say we have four, and I'll explain that later as we get there. The blinds are closed, but as you can see it's still bright in this room. Uh, it does have a fan and a light. The closet there. The floor in here is tiled. So as we exit the room, you can see to the right we have the large living area. And to our left we have the guest bath, which has a double vanity, a nice tile floor, we have a shower off to the right here. And then we have the toilet right here. Now as we turn right to go down the hallway, you will notice on the left here we have a closet that, well I would actually call this a utility room, that has the air handler and the hot water heater, has some storage shelves, as well as the uh, fuse box, the breaker panel. To the left here we have another one of the bedrooms. This is not the master bedroom. Uh, like the first one, it is tiled, although the tile is different in here. It has a closet. It does not have the fan, but it does have a light. It has a large window. And some built-in features of some shelving along this wall. So here we have a look at the floor. Now we're walking into the master bedroom, and I'm going to call it a master suite. We have the closets here on our right and our left as we enter the bedroom. We have a slider out to the pool here. We have a nice laminate floor. You can see the ceiling fan is here. There's a nice window. And I'm taking a look around at the floor. The reason I'm calling it a suite is we actually have another bedroom and bathroom through that door. Um, this is the master, technically the master bath. 
You can see it has been renovated recently. A large walk-in shower. And now as we walk through this door, we have another bathroom on the right. And then we have a walk-in shower back here. And I apologize for my casual appearance today, but I'm actually stopping at the beach on my way home from taking this video. So, dressed for fun more than I'm dressed for work today. So we're walking into the bedroom, but it could also be an office for the bedroom, or off the bedroom. Uh, it could be part of a master suite in that you could have a TV here, um, kind of a, a private area that is only accessible through the master bedroom. The wall I'm looking at here is actually mirrored, so you're not seeing the room, or more room, you're seeing a reflection of the room here. And as we move toward the window, you can see this room has a great view of the canal behind the home. We have recessed lighting and a fan in here and a slider out to uh, the side yard. Actually, it's kind of more the front yard, front slash side yard. And then here we have another air handler. So there are two air conditioners in this home. Uh, one for the main home, and then one that may air condition more than just this room or the master suite, but it is a separate uh, two-zone AC system. Now that we have seen the home, I'm going to walk back through the house out to the pool deck and then we'll take a look at the canal. So here I'll slow down just to give you another look at the main living area. Here we have the fireplace as it appears on this side, on the formal living side. And now we will look at the formal dining, I'm sorry, the family room side. It's all one big room, so it's basically the same. Here's a look at the dining area. And it occurs to me we did not look at the kitchen yet, so let's take a look at that before we go outside. So here we have a nice island that is tiled and some of the decorative lighting above it so walking into the kitchen you'll notice we have, um, I believe it's cork. It feels like cork and it looks like cork. Back here we had some bamboo flooring. And here we have a tile floor, pretty obviously. Uh, a lot of neat features in this house here. They have a uh, textured ceiling material. We have what appears to be a corian or sile stone counter surface. Plenty of storage in these cabinets here. Very tall and very deep. We turn left. This is the door to the garage. 
It is a two-car garage with a painted floor. And some shelving here. As well as a door to the side yard. Heading back in, here's the kitchen. Off to the right, we have a laundry room, a large laundry room, with a full sink. And again, plenty of storage for a laundry room. A nice washer and dryer set here. And a half bath, well, take that back, it's a full bath, but a great bathroom to have next to the pool because this is where you can change, get cleaned up, and not track any water or other stuff from the backyard into the house. So now we are going to head out into the backyard at last. It's an absolutely beautiful day today in Cocoa Beach. So we're going to take a look at the pool. You can see we have a large pool deck. It is screened. Here's the pool bath door that we just saw in that half bath um, that we saw in the utility room. So we have some storage here. And we're now going to head out of the screen enclosure into the backyard itself. So here we're looking at the side yard. Some nice privacy landscaping between you and the neighbor. And here we are, out on the deck, out on the seawall. Absolutely amazing. Here we have a duck. <laughs> So we'll walk along the dock, and as we get closer, we'll go around the corner and we'll take a look at the boat lift. Oh, that was a surprise <laughs> for both of us. The duck and myself. <laughs> so here we have the uh, motorized boat lift. And not only do we have a boat lift over here, we actually have a small boat ramp. So, can't get any easier than that. So today we have visited 1800 Bayshore Drive, 